Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you how I plan out my meals for the week. I have a very specific process that I do every single week because it makes my life a million times easier when I go to cook things throughout the week. So I like to plan out a week in advance. I usually plan on Saturday and then I'll go grocery shopping on Sunday. That way I don't have to do it all in one day, but I get it done on the weekend. So I have the whole week planned out and I don't have to think about what I'm eating. And one tip that I would highly recommend is, it may seem simple, but definitely choose recipes that you would want to make right now, if that makes sense. So that way when it comes to making that recipe, you're actually excited to make it and don't and just want to get takeout or something instead. Pick recipes that are fun and things that are easy and that you look forward to making. I like to find my recipes on Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok. I also use this Define Dish cookbook that I love and I got this off Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys, but I have made so many recipes out of here and there's not been a single one that I didn't like. Like they are all super good and they're pretty easy too. If you don't have a cookbook, you can obviously use Pinterest Pinterest, Google, Instagram, literally anything. There's so many places to find recipes. And what I love to do, honestly, is once I make a recipe and I love it, I'll just save it on Instagram or I'll pin it on Pinterest and I'll make that recipe over and over again. I definitely do have a couple recipes that are staples that I make like every week or every other week or once a month. One of them being like salmon bowls. I always make salmon bowls at least like once a week. We get our salmon from ButcherBox, so we always have a ton of it. I always like to make at least one pasta dish a week because those are super easy to whip up. They take like 15, 20 minutes. A lot of recipes that I make, I kind of just throw together like a carb, a protein, and a fat and just call it a meal. Like for instance, I'll make some chicken and then I'll have some potatoes on the side and then I'll do like whatever veggie I have in the fridge, say like carrots, broccoli, anything like that. And that's just like a really simple recipe idea. First thing I like to do every week when I go to plan out my meals is I like to look what I have left in the fridge and then I'll kind of like make meals based on whatever I have left. This week I know I have some rice in the freezer that I need to use and then some salmon. I always have a bunch of meat in the freezer because like I said we do get butcher box so we're always like socked up. We get it once a month. Our fridge is actually pretty bare right now. That's like the emptiest I've seen it in a really long time but we have a couple things left like some ground beef that I'm gonna be making tonight and then we have some ham that Alex uses for his sandwiches. I'll need to get probably some turkey for my sandwiches. We also have some pasta in the pantry. We have some oats in the pantry, just like kind of staple things. I'm going to start by looking and seeing what recipes I can find on Pinterest and Instagram and maybe just in my book as well. I always like to plan out breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but for breakfast, a lot of the times I'll just make like protein balls or I'll have overnight oats or if I'm home, I will always have eggs and toast, but if I'm out, I'll bring overnight oats or like protein balls. I also like to make sure that the days that I am super busy, I like to plan something super easy for dinner so I don't have to worry about having to come home and cook because I know I won't want to. That day, I usually just like to do some type of frozen food or or I will make a big batch of something the night before and then we'll just have leftovers that night. For lunch, I always do some type of salad or a sandwich. When I make a lunch, I will make one lunch and then I'll make that same lunch for another day. So I have two of those. And I only do two because I feel like if I eat it more than twice, I'll get sick of it. So yeah, I'm gonna start by looking in my cookbook to see if I can find any good recipes for the week. <laughs> a soup this week because why not fall vibes you know actually all my recipes that i've picked so far are actually very fall so i'm excited where's her soups i know she has soups Ooh, tomato soup okay i think i'm gonna do this tomato soup paired with a grilled cheese and that will be a pretty easy dinner it takes like 15 minutes tomato soup and grilled cheese 
Okay, so here is the recipes that I have for dinner. So the first one is salmon, broccoli, and potatoes. I got this inspo from a video on Instagram. I'll put on the screen. And then this tomato soup and grilled cheese. I'm gonna write the page number next to it so it's easy to access. And then the harvest chicken casserole. I found this on Pinterest. And then on Thursday, I have clinical all day. So I wanted to have leftovers that night. So it's gonna be the leftover chicken casserole. And then Friday, I also have clinical, but... I feel like I'm often more tired on Thursday and then I have to prepare for Friday. So Friday after clinical, I'm going to make a butternut squash mac and cheese. It actually doesn't look too hard. So I'll put that on the screen for you guys as well. And then this weekend, I'm actually going out of town and I kind of forgot when I wrote this, but maybe I'll bring some leftover mac and cheese and then we'll probably have eggs and toast somewhere out of town, I'm assuming, and then we'll go out for dinner. So I'm going to now plan out breakfast and lunch. I think for breakfast on Monday, I'm going to be home. So I think I'm going to do eggs and toast. I'm going to make some pumpkin bites this week. So I'm going to do those. And then on Wednesday, I'll be home. So I think I'm going to do some overnight oats. And then Thursday and Friday, I will also do those same pumpkin bites. And then for lunches, I feel like this is where I struggle the most, but I'm going to try to find some easy salads or sandwiches to make. I also try to like not have a sandwich for lunch and dinner. So like for instance, this day we're having grilled cheese. So I'm not gonna have a sandwich here. I will probably have a salad. And then maybe Wednesday I'll have a sandwich. So I think on Thursday, I'm actually going to buy lunch. Oh wait, actually no, actually no. I forgot Thursday, I have a short day of clinical. I think Friday, I'm going to buy lunch. Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to have a salad. And then for Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to do a turkey sandwich. And then now I'm just gonna kind of go and make my grocery list based on everything that I need for these meals. So I'm gonna go back and look at each meal and then I will add groceries as needed. So I know that I always buy eggs every week, so I always add that. And then I also need milk for coffee and for my overnight oats. I also know I'm gonna want chocolate for dessert, so I'm gonna add that as well. So I believe that's it. This is gonna be kind of a large grocery run, but it'd be like that sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. Okay, you guys, this is a pretty freaking massive haul, but this is literally a week's worth of food. Starting over here, I have all the produce. I got broccolini instead of broccoli just because it looked better. The produce honestly didn't look too good today. The Brussels sprouts look not the best, but I grabbed the best one I could find. I grabbed some microgreens for my sandwich some baby carrots, some frozen mango. I like to eat that for dessert. I got two different types of oat milk. This one is really good, it's new. And then this one I always get as well, it's pretty cheap. And then I couldn't find tomato juice, so I ended up just getting a tomato soup instead. So we're just gonna eat that instead of making the soup. I got some plain Greek yogurt. I got these three seed sweet potato crackers. I've never had these before, I'm excited to try them. I also got these umami corn tortilla chips. Never had those either, but I wanted to try them with this artichoke and jalapeno dip. I mostly got this for Alex, but I want to try it too. And then they had these really good looking tomatoes, so I had to pick those up. I think the most exciting thing in this entire haul, this literal pound of chocolate. I got some English muffins for breakfast avocado, some potatoes, some onions, sweet potato. This mango looked really pretty, so I picked it up. I got some power greens for my salads, some romaine hearts for my salads as well, the butternut squash for the butternut squash mac and cheese, some cucumbers, some eggs, some bananas, and the chicken. I think that is all. 
let me show you guys how much I spent. So I ended up spending $111. I feel like that's pretty good for like all of this stuff. Trader Joe's is honestly not that expensive, especially compared to Whole Foods. And I literally got everything on my list except for green onion. Could not find that for some reason, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna put all of this away now. Okay, you guys, I think that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you found this helpful and you take away some tips from this video. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite parts of the week is planning out my meals. I think it's so fun and it makes me excited to make the recipes for the week. Let me know down below if you have any staple recipes that you like to make throughout the week because I'm always looking for new ones. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.